Intraday update for the grain markets. It's July 7th, 1054 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm Rich Possum. Okay, uh, a little while ago I tried to put up a audio and I don't know where it went to. It said it posted. We're not finding it. This may, um, so I'm putting out a second one and I'll keep it a little shorter, simpler. The model suggests level four bottom occurred in the first 20 minutes of overnight trade and then the top occurred near the high of the overnight session, therefore the current high of today. Therefore, the level four trend is down into tomorrow. And we can see lingering weakness here. They took out the overnight low. They're still selling, okay? They're probably eyeing the low of in recent days. And I don't have my chart or quote system in front of me, but uh, watch recent lows for some support. It does bother me that if the level four doesn't bottom tomorrow, that's plenty of time to just hammer this market. And there could be, there could be bulls that are really hurting. There might be bears are scared to death. They really don't want to sell it here, but they don't want to miss out. So they're going to try to trade it fast and quick, and therefore they will get some courage and probably sell it. On the other hand, the technical is not supporting that opinion, and it's not supporting the model that much in the sense that it's extremely oversold. But that could be meaningless during a weather market, during a market that was basically broken yesterday. Um, it may be meaningless. On the other hand, you know, if you take it at face value, you would say, gosh, the market ought to bounce. Here's how to approach this. I would assume lower into tomorrow and quite possibly lower for all this week until we see trade over the overnight high. And again, I don't have that price in front of me, but if it takes out today's high, not only do you have to consider level four interest swing, some strength, although you also have to worry that could disappear quickly, but you have to consider the chance for that larger level three critical point uh, reversal, okay? And uh, we'll assess that when we get there. Another way of looking at it is the best evidence would be a close above today's high would also signal that level three critical point reversal in corn. Corn can be used as a proxy for soybeans and wheat. I personally think soybeans ought to show relative strength and wheat relative strength to corn for a little while here. And I'm gonna stay with the video update made uh, today and in recent days here of what we are expecting into next week, as well as for this month. If you don't understand that, you need to be, you're probably not a subscriber, so become a subscriber, see those videos because it makes a big difference compared to trying to write a newsletter or trying to do these audio, okay? So uh, I think this is gonna work out. We're gonna see accuracy increase and we'll see this market settle into what we're forecasting. But right at this moment, still looks like this current swing is down, no evidence of a bottom. And I'm just watching uh, today's high and otherwise saying might as well stay bearish because again, there doesn't seem to be any evidence of the selling abating at this moment. Okay, hopefully this is some help. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results and hopefully this gets posted correctly this time. Thank you.